Hello everybody, this is the Amazing Tech Zone, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a realistic bullet hit in Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, this is an example of what we're going to do today. Okay, so what we need is we need our footage that we're going to be applying the effect to. So this footage right here is perfect. And we need a, a wood hit or some sort of smoke. Like this. This is perfect. And then we need a bullet hit. So I just found this on the internet by searching uh, sheetrock bullet hit. Simple as that. So after you have that, you want to open up After Effects. You're going to drag in all your footage. like this so we have three footage and uh, we're gonna tr oh, we're gonna create a new composition <coughs> just like this now as you can see that I'm not using a tripod so we do need to track the footage in order to add our bullet head so the bullet head stays on the uh, wall now if you don't have CS6 or higher then um, you you don't have the 3D tracking motion so uh, there's two solutions to that one is you use another program to motion track it or the second option is to use a tripod so you don't need to worry about motion tracking at all so to track motion in CS6 you right click on your footage and you press track camera and now this process will begin right away as simple as that now you can go in the advanced tab and uh, change all these like typical mostly flat scene tripod pan like if you're turning 180 degrees now we don't have any of that so we're just going to use the default auto detect and uh, this sh sh is going to be this is going to load and it's going to track uh, points on your footage so I'll be back when it's finished okay so after he has analyzing after it's finished analyzing the background it's going to be solving the camera a uh, step two of two so well, this is going to take a uh, about two minute ish okay there so now what we want to click is create camera and this will create a bunch of dot where it has motion track so we want to choose a dot that is perfect for a scene that is not covered by the character by any object at all or that it, it shows throughout the whole video so this point right here it shows throughout the video no object is blocking it so this is perfect so after you have selected your point, we right click and press create null. And this will create no objects of our motion track layer. So as you can see, if I move the footage around, the uh, motion track layer stays there. Now what you want to do is to select our uh, bullet hit. In this case, we're using uh, a sheetrock that I found online. So we want to change the position of it like that maybe scale it down a little bit like that okay before we uh, do anything else we need to parent this to the node there so that it will move with the camera so we parent it to the node there and make sure that it's a 3d object now this way the bullet head will just uh, stay with the no object so we can now we can uh, scale it up a little bit and then move it in position a little bit just like this this is perfect okay Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Now, as you can see, this bullet hit is not perfect. First of all, we have this background, and the second thing is that we didn't. Uh, it's not matching the wall. So, how we're gonna match the wall is the first thing that we want to do is to mask out the hole. Simply grabbing a mask tool and uh, just mask it out. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be feathering now, and we're gonna be applying fast blur. okay now we can go into the mask sec section and we can feather it out just a little bit don't feather it out too much hold on we're, okay there it is like this alright now the background is starting to match with the ho hole but it's still not perfect yet so in order to make it perfect you want to make sure that you select the whole layer right here and you want to go to effect color correction tint this right here you want to change the uh, you first you want to make the amount of tint zero percent you want to change the white to your wall and you want to change the black to the hole and you want to start slowly applying to it until it fits with the background like right now now this is perfect 
So now we what we want to do is to uh, scale it down like this. Hold on. Okay, there. Maybe that. Th yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe scale it down a little bit more. Like that. Okay. So just mess around with it until it looks good. Now, um, now if your uh, if your bullet head does not match with the background, you will want to apply fast blur by going to effects blur and uh, fast blur. But uh, we don't really need a blur because it uh, it matched the it matched the wall pretty well, so it blends in with the wall. So now we have the, our hole, and uh, we're going to need uh, three bullet hits. So we're going to uh, duplicate them two times, and we want to make sure that they're a different position. So hold on, there we go. So we're just going to move them around randomly. Okay, now we have another problem that's occurring. You can see that all the bullet hit looks the same. That's because we we didn't make different bullet hit, we just copy it. So, in order to uh, fix that problem, we're going to actually rotate it so it looks a little bit different. So we're going to rotate the Z. Z rotation, and then rotate this one, and then probably rotate this one as well. So this way that the whole, the whole looks different. It doesn't look like we uh, copied it. Which we did, but you can't really tell. Okay, now we just want to go through the footage. As you can see, the bullet hit stays on the wall perfect, exactly how we want it. And the color looks exactly right. So now, we can actually affect our uh, wood hit layer. So we're going to affect that. So as you can see, this is a bit, uh, a bit too much contrast, so we can edit that. But the first thing that we want to do, as always, is parent it to know there and make it a 3D object, like this. And now we have our uh, we have our smoke layer. But all we have to do now is to change the color. So we go to color correction and go to levels, and make sure this is selected as RGB. And then you can start making it more contrast or less. So we want it to be less, so it's a bit brighter, just like this. Now just mess around with all these menus until it looks good. Alright, like that. This is perfect. So we don't need any other type of color correction. We can just adjust the levels. So now what you want to do is to duplicate it two times. The first one goes here, and then the second one goes here. So now we have our duplicated footage. Now you want to uh, go ahead and uh, change this time sequence so this one goes to here this one I think it this is this no it's not this one it's this one and then finally this one goes to here So yeah, now you have your uh, realistic muzzle. Flash now, uh, the wood hit that I got, I forgot to tell you guys, the wood hit right here, wood hit one is from uh, the action essentials pack. Now if you do not have the action essentials pack, I'll put a link to the description where you can download this completely free on my website. So now let's take a look at our footage. It's pretty nice, pretty sweet, pretty sweet muzzle flashes. Now there's one problem that I figured out is that the smoke goes a little bit slow, so we might want to make that faster by right clicking it by selecting all the wood hit layer, right clicking, it, right clicking it, click on time, and click on time stretch. And we want to make this about 80 or 75-ish, maybe 76. And this way, it will make our uh, foot, it will make our smoke appear um, faster. So it looked like uh, the bullet really damaged the uh, sheetrock. So yeah, that's about it. And that's how you make a realistic muscle flash. So let's play around, the, let's play the video and see how it goes. Yep, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope this helped you. Thank you.